So let's talk about if statements in PHP. Essentially all an if statement is, is a line of code that states if a variable is something or is not something, then do something. So if a variable is above a certain amount, then trigger an action to happen. Or if a variable is below a certain amount, trigger an action to happen. So all this is doing is this is taking a look at the variable. It's comparing the variable against something. And then if that is true, then it's going to trigger an event to happen. So that's all an if statement really is. So let's go over to the computer so I can kind of give you a demonstration of an if statement. So this is a very simple if statement in a PHP script uh, to give you a demonstration of how this works. Do understand that this can be much more complicated. The events that can be triggered can be much more complicated, but this is a simple way to show you how an if statement works. So again, what we do is we open up the, the PHP with a PHP tag to say a PHP script is going to be run. And then what the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to create and assign a value to a variable. So we're going to create a variable variable called dollar sign age and we are going to set it to the value of 16 and of course always remember the semicolon then the first thing that we're going to do here when you are first starting when you're playing around with if statements while statements while loops that type of thing one of the things that you're going to want to make sure is that the variable uh, that is being compared is at, is the value that you think it's supposed to be so one thing that happens with a lot of coders is they go in they write a lot of code you know if if the variable is this value do this so on and so forth, but then sometimes they screw up and they, they the value of the variable isn't what they think it's supposed to be. And so then the if statement doesn't seem to work properly because the value that's being, being presented to the if statement isn't what people think it is. So the first thing that we're going to do here is just verify what the value we're sending to the if statement is. So what we're going to do is we're going to do print double quotation marks, and then we're going to do your age is, so this is all printed out in normal text, and then by simply putting dollar sign age, or whatever the variable name is, that will print out the value for that variable. Then we're going to close with a double quotation mark. So this is going to say your age is, and hopefully it will spit out 16. If it spits out something else, then we know, oh, there's an issue going on with this code. Then we're going to do semicolon. Now again, since we're going to be printing this out into a normal web browser that reads HTML, we want this in a format that we can read that's relatively easy to read. So we're going to do print, double quotation marks, and then we're going to simply put in the break tag. So all this does is for HTML, it will print this out on one line, then it'll see the break break tag, and then it will print out everything else on the next line. So it's not all lumped together in one single line. And then this is where we get to the if statement. And so this is a very simple if statement here. And so for an if statement, what you do is you open it up with an if. So you say if, then you do space, then you do open parentheses, and then you put in what the variable is or what, what you're, you're trying to, to, to test against. And so we are going to test against the age. So the value of the variable age. If the, valuable, the, the, the value for the variable age is less than 18, so we could make this less than 18. Oops. We could make this greater than 18. We could make this equal to 18. We could put a lot of conditionals in there. We'll talk about conditionals later. But right now we say if the value of age is less than 18, then we close parentheses. Then we open squirrely brackets. Always remember the squirrely brackets. So basically what's going to happen is if this is true, then do everything between the squirrely brackets. So here, all we're going to do is print. But you could you could have 100 lines of code between the squirrely brackets. You could have a lot of stuff going on. But all we're going to do right now is we're just going to print. And we're just going to print a simple line, uh, double quotation marks. And we're just going to say, you're you too young. You too young. You know, you're too young for the ride. Or you're too young to get into this website, whatever else. You can print whatever you want here. Then, of course, we're going to do the, the uh, semicolon to close that line. Line, then we're going to close the squirrely brackets and then we're going to close the script altogether. So basically what this is going to do is you plug in the age 
it's going to print out what your age is. It's going to do a break. If the age is below 18, it's going to print you too young. If the age is above 18, though, it's important to understand, all this is going to do, if, it's, if the age is below 18, it's going to print out this line. If it doesn't, if, it, if the condition isn't true, then it's going to simply keep going on with the strips, script. So it's not going to do anything else. And so this is all a basically basic if statement. And then we're going to open up Chrome. We're going to go to silicondojo.com again. This has been named if.php. So again, remember, it has to be named.php. Then we're going to hit enter. And so it's going to say your age is 16. Okay, and so the big thing to understand here is that we are just looking to make sure that the value of the variable is what we think the value of the variable is. A lot of times people get messed up in programming because they're trying to keep so many things in their head and they just make a small little mistake. So we're going to make sure, okay, yep, so the value of age is 16. And so since the value of age is 16, it's going to print out you too young. Now, if we go over here, all we have to do is if we uh, change the value of age to let's say 20 then we do file then we do save we are going to grab the if.php script we're simply going to upload this to the server so it's now been uploaded we go back to google chrome all we do is we hit refresh and now since the age is 20 then nothing happens that print uh, that print is not uh, triggered. So that's all there really is to what a, uh, an if statement is. The thing that you're doing is you're trying to test for conditions. So if the value of a variable is less than, greater than, equal to, whatever else, the value of something else, then do this. If this is not true, if this is not true, then this Anything between the squirrely brackets is simply skipped over, nothing else happens, and the rest of the script is run. So that's all there is to if statements. Now there's a lot of ways for testing conditions. There's if statements, there's if else, there's if else's with else ifs, there's switches. There's a lot of ways to test for conditions, but using a basic if statement is one of those ways. One thing that gets a lot of new programmers confused is they see the if else's and the if else's with else ifs, and they think that they have to do that every time that they're going to try to test for a condition. So it's important to understand that you can use a simple if statement on its own. So basically, if, if a, a chunk of code is supposed to run if one thing is true, and if not, it doesn't need to run, then you can just basically put a simple if statement in there. You don't have to put in additional else. You just have that if statement. If this is true, whatever it is, uh, then do the rest of the code. If not, then that code isn't run. So this is one of the things that you can do to test for conditions within your code. So that's what an if statement is, and that's why it's important in PHP.